mabuhay or in kapampangan luwid kayo. Every third Monday of February is President's Day here in the United States. So here are five things about early U.S. presidents in Philippine history and the Filipino struggle for independence. Let's begin. At number one, before he became the 26th U.S. President, Theodore Roosevelt served as the Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Navy. And his insubordination, aka his refusal to follow his superiors, led to the 1898 Battle of Manila Bay, paving the way for the Spanish-American War and the bloodier Philippine-American War. At number two, to justify the U.S. annexation of the Philippines, then 25th U.S. President William McKinley said that their purpose was to educate the Filipinos and uplift and civilize and Christianize them, while ignoring the fact that the islands had already been civilized and its people already literate centuries before the first Europeans set foot on the island and that they had already been Christianized for centuries even before the United States was founded. Number 3. McKinley also proclaimed the policy of benevolent assimilation towards the Philippines. But instead of benevolence, the Philippine-American War and the U.S. occupation of the islands led to the exploitation, the uprooting, the miseducation, and what could be considered a genocide of its people. At number 4, William Howard Taft, who would later become the 27th U.S. President, was appointed Governor General of the Philippines in 1901-1903. to And this is a picture of Taft on top of a miserable looking carabao in the Philippines. A visual reminder of the unequal relationship between the United States and the Philippines. And at number 5, in 1916, then 28 U.S. President Woodrow Wilson succeeded in persuading the U.S. Congress to grant the Philippines political autonomy. While remaining a U.S. colony, the Philippines would have to wait another two decades before it could gain independence from the United States. But the relationship between the two countries since then had always remained unequal one of dominance and submission that continues to this very day. And that is it for me today. To learn more about these topics, check out the links in the video description below. And until next time, kita kits! Or in kapampangan, mi kitiks! Bye!